Oh, I'm recording. Okay, let me stop the recording. I fixed it. You can come back now. Smiley face. No, I, I, I turned on recording once I got out of the room, so I don't know, but I didn't mean to get out of the room. Anyways, I lost my, my person, so hopefully she'll come back. Okay, so you've got it figured out? Yeah. Okay. But when, but when you leave, it's probably going to turn off the room. Oh, here, let me just make sure I've passed a uh, host to you or whatever. Um. Okay, just, I, I don't think it's going to. Okay, just text me if it, if it causes trouble. Okay. Oh, yay, you're back. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. And, and you can hear me? Okay, we are starting. <laughs> we are grateful. Okay, and inhaling and exhale, heart center. And inhale and exhale, heart center. And one more inhale. Bye bye. And bring it to heart center. We are grateful and bye bye girls and open up your heart and reach. Say hi. 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 And this is perfect because today our yoga class is going to be all about blessing the children. And here they are. <laughs> bye. Good, 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 because I just feel like right now, children really need a blessing. School's about to start, and there's just all kinds of weird things going on. Reach in front and reach. So we are just going to see ourselves as little children, and, and uh, also as little children as little children, and uh, be in that in that heart space as we bless children everywhere. Inhale down and exhale up into a star and shine. Good, 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 good. And then we'll walk back to center and just come around with our hips and feel ourselves right here, right now in this space. Good, and then around the other way. Great, great, great. It's just so good to give up all the thoughts and all the worries and all those things that are haunting us. And instead, in the reach over your left arm, good, just give them up and allow that blessing to come. So today, we're really blessing children today. That's our intention, is just to bless children. Good. And reach up. Good. And of course, it's not us the one is the one that's blessing us. It's the, our beautiful, beautiful God that's blessing through us. And we're just remaining as a conduit for that prayer. Good, good, good. And one more. Good. And then we'll inhale both arms up. And then exhale all the way down into a fold. And give the earth a pat. Thank you, earth. And then roll it on up, roll, 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 and roll one shoulder back and roll the other. Good. Great, great, great. So now just step into our first warrior two. So your left foot comes over here, right foot back. Check that you're in line. We'll inhale down. And exhale into that warrior two and feeling the strength and the power in this pose as you balance your weight between the two feet. 
and your earth, your feet are planted into the earth. Good. Your arms are strong and activated. And we can flip that left palm and then reach it up to the sky. Good. And the exalted warrior and breathe. Good. And then back to center and we'll reach the side angle and breathe. Back to center and reach up. Good. And then again, and the Psalms say that out of the mouths of babes and little nursing children comes praise. It's ordained that there would be praise out of the mouths of babes and little nursing children. So let's just get into that space of praise and being grateful for all these beautiful blessings we've been given here. We're given oxygen, we're given a, a place to live, we're given our own bodies, minds, and spirits back to center, whole, just being grateful. Good, good, good. And then drop it down, bring it around to star and find that gratefulness for this feeling of being right here, right now. And then around the other way and opening up, checking our legs, checking that our heels in line with the instep, planting down through, balancing the weight on both legs, then reaching, feeling that warrior two, maybe looking over, those right fingertips, beautiful, rolling the shoulders back, tucking the tailbone, and then flipping that palm as we inhale up to Exalted Warrior. Inhale, bringing that praise for this moment, for being here right now, and then back to center, and then forward. Good. Great, great, great. And inhale up out of the mouths of babes and sucklings as thou ordained praise. And if there's praise coming from little babies, then there's praise coming from the earth and there's praise coming from trees. And let's hope that there's praise coming from our own heart. So let's just bring that feeling of praise. Being grateful, grateful right here, right now that place of gratefulness and letting all worries and cares just drop aside as we come into that space of praise. And then that verse goes on to say, as we come to center again into our warrior, that out of the mouths of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained praise. Why? Because of the enemies reach there are enemies to praise, and that's worry and taking these things on ourselves. Let's go all the way down into a fold and drop all those worries and cares. Why? Why is that praise here? Because of worries and cares and things where we think that we need to work, 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 and plan, plan, plan to fix everything. And we're just letting all that go right now. Walking both hands over to our right foot, pulling towards it and breathing into the back of the leg. And coming into this space of praise. And then what does that praise do? It says that the praise will quiet the voices of the enemy. So as we be like that little child who, who is ordained to speak praise, walk it over to the other foot, our soul becomes quiet. Good, good, good. The worries and cares get dropped. And we come back to this place of being, this beautiful space of praise. And then back to center and hold. And our soul becomes quiet and still. And then we come to another psalm. Our soul is quiet like a weaned child. 
Put that left hand down, reach up with your right into a twist and feel that twist and breathe. Hold in the twist. Good, good, good. And then we'll bring that hand down, your right, your right hand down, and reach up the left and come into a twist and breathe. Beautiful. And then back to center, drop the head and let it go. Blessing the children and blessing ourselves as little children as we come into a place of praise and trust. Good. Then walking our feet together. Good, we're still in a fold. We hold here and breathe into the back of the legs. And then we inhale and roll all the way up into a swan dive up, all the way up, good. And then hands come to heart center. Good, beautiful finding that beautiful space of praise and breathe. And then bring your left leg over. We're gonna to come to warrior one. So your foot in the back is at an angle. Your, your legs are hip distance apart. Your hip bones are parallel to the top of the mat. As we inhale up and reach, and then exhale, opening up heart center into a cactus pose. So your elbow, el elbows are in line with your shoulders. Beautiful. Inhaling up and breathe. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, cactus. Allowing that beautiful praise just to melt down over us, that thankfulness and gratefulness that's always here waiting to anoint our heads. And inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. And exhale. And then it quiets our soul. Just like our breath does. Our breath quiets our soul. As we inhale. And exhale. Two more. And one more, quieting our soul, opening up our hearts. Good. Then bring both hands up, clap them together, point away from me, and you'll get that beautiful stretch all the way down your right side. Hold, feeling it in your right hip flexor, which is the front of your hip. Then we'll inhale and exhale, point forward. Then down and around, coming to a warrior one on the other side. Again, we're, we'll check our hips, making sure that they're parallel to the top of the mat. Our feet are hip distance apart in two lanes. We inhale up, reaching to the sky. Exhale, opening up heart center. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, opening up into cactus pose. And inhaling that praise. And exhale, send out that blessing to some special child that you would like to bless. Get a real picture of them. Inhale up. Maybe it's a child that's starting school right now. Exhale, blessings, blessings, blessings. Just letting our stilled and quiet soul be the conduit of praise and blessings to that child. Inhale up. And if you can't think of any specific child, just let it be for all children everywhere, or even the child of your own heart, if that's what you need right now. Inhale and exhale two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, blessings. Inhale, filling up with that praise and the quiet soul. And exhale, blessing. Beautiful, beautiful, hold. Breathe in this cactus pose. Then bringing both hands up, we reach, we clap hands together, point away from me and breathe into that left side that's getting a beautiful extension all the way down that left hip flexor. Inhale and exhale and hold. One more breath here. And then point forward. 
down, around, back into star, reaching into star, shining like stars. Beautiful. Bring hands together. We'll come into a squat. Good. You inhale and exhale. Nice wide legged squat. Beautiful. Inhale and exhale. Bracing core, tucking tailbone, feeling the glutes activated. Inhaling and exhale with our wide arms. Good, inhale and exhale. And again, bringing in that praise and the quiet soul. And then praying for that special child or group of children that we'd like to bless. Two more like that, inhale and exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. Good, good, good. And hold here as we bring one heel up, then the other. Feeling those calves working. Good, working on our balance. One more breath here. Good. And reach up to star. Beautiful. And then we're going to come to a um, with your heel up so it's a crescent crescent lunge here good and you get a nice stretch in the bottom of the foot good and it's kind of a balance pose too if it gets a little tough you can put the heel down and we'll inhale both arms up reaching 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 and we're going to go into humble warriors so we're going to humble ourselves like a little child in trust good inhaling up you think about a little child, they trust their parent. Exhaling down, thinking about that trust, allowing ourselves to be filled with trust. Trust for whatever is going to happen or is happening or has happened, that it will be worked out for the good. It will. Inhaling up. Exhaling into that humble, humble little child. Good. And Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these little children. Exhale down. Inhaling up that trust. And exhaling again, that humbleness. And again, bring your heart to blessing those little children all around the world, maybe this time. Inhaling up. And exhaling out that blessing to all the little children. Inhale. And all the big children, too. <laughs> and exhale. And the last one really working it and then exhale we'll hold in that humble warrior bringing our arms back maybe even bringing the shoulder blades together in the back beautiful beautiful hold good and then we're going to bring our hands down to uh, the instep of the left foot and we'll be in runner's lunge so we push through that back foot extend our spine and your gaze is down at the mat. Open up the left inner thigh as you come into this runner's lunge. If your wrists are having a hard time, you could bring your elbows down, but otherwise stay extended. Beautiful, one more breath here. Good, we're gonna push it to our plank. So that left foot's gonna come back. Hold in plank, feel your strong arms. Beautiful, extending your spine, breathe. Good, good, good. And then bring it back to downward dog. And hold in our downward dog. Beautiful, think about the hips going into the sky, the heels going towards the earth, extending through the back of the legs and the shoulders. Breathing, if you'd like to walk your dog, that's fine too, by bringing the heels up and down. Or you could do both heels up and then down, up and down, one more. And hold in our downward dog. One more breath here. 
and then hop to the center of the mat or step. And inhale all the way up, swan dive up. Beautiful, exhaling hands to heart center. And we will turn the other way. Uh, we will get a uh, left foot forward, right leg back into crescent lunge again. So now we're in crescent lunge on the other side. Beautiful, feeling that stretch in the heel there with your left heel, your right leg forward. Good. Checking our hips are parallel to the top of the mat. Beautiful. And as we prepare for our humble warriors, we inhale both arms up, reaching. And then exhale down the humble, humbling ourselves, becoming empty of anything that doesn't serve. Inhale up and exhale down, emptying out the worries and cares. Inhale up, filling up with the trust and praise. And then exhaling down, allowing our very being to become humble like a little child. Inhale so we can be that conduit. Inhale and exhale. And then again, entering into that prayer for little children, filling up with the praise and the blessing. Exhale, sending it out to a little child or group of children. Inhale up and exhale down. We got two more to go. Inhale, reaching. Exhale down and humble. And then last one. Inhale. And exhale, humble, and we'll hold in our humble, bringing our hands back. Good. Maybe bringing the shoulder blades, loading them towards the ceiling as we come into this humble warrior. One more breath here. Then bring both hands to the instep. Walk the foot over and feel the runner's lunge on this side. Breathing into that right inner thigh. Pushing through the left heel. Good. Extending the spine. And again, if it's too much on your wrist, you can bring your elbows down. Breathing, or your knee down. That's, that's fine. That's another option you could do. Just bring that left knee down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. One more breath here. Then bring, brace your core, brace your glute, get ready for a plank, bringing the right leg back. We're in our plank, extending, feeling our strong arms. Good, two breaths here. And one more, then pushing back to our downward dog, feeling the relief here, or maybe bringing the elbows or knees down if it's needed, that's great too. And breathing into our downward dog, extending our hips towards the ceiling, feeling the extension in the shoulders, the back of the legs. Beautiful, beautiful. Maybe walking the dog or maybe bringing heels up and down along with the breath, noticing the breath. And again, sending out that Blessing to the children, inhaling praise and trust and blessing, exhaling it out to children, our own child heart, our own children, and children everywhere. Last breath here. And we will step our hop to the middle of the mat. Good. And come swan diving all the way up. And exhale the heart center. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's time for a little drink of water and get ready for balance poses. Good. Always hydrate. <laughs> okay, and we will find ourselves on the mat here. And nice soft knees. We'll inhale up 
fingertips just touch at the top as we drop that chi over our bodies, that beautiful energy that, surround us, that surrounds us, in which we live and move and have our being. Good. It goes beyond our bodies, but it's within our bodies. Good. And just let it go. It has a lot to do with breath, and yet it's beyond breath. Good. It's a mystery. <laughs> One more. And that same verse that talks about um, uh, being a little child also says, don't exercise your brain in matters too weighty for it. So just let the chi be there. You don't have to know what it is. Okay, we feel the energy. We shift the weight to our right leg and then bring it up. Bring up the left, that is. And circle the ankle, good. Bring it over to the side, circle. And think about the joy and the trust that a little child has. It takes a lot of trust just to do balance poses and a quiet, quiet soul. So let's bring that quietness here in our balance poses and just kind of play with them the way a little child would play, bringing that down. We'll sink that chi again, inhale, and exhale, letting that chi just wash us. Good, shift the weight to the left, bring the right knee up and circle. So we're taking an example from little children while we also use ourselves as conduits to bless them. And when we do that, it also blesses our own heart. We wash out that worry and the difficulties therein, bringing it back in circle. Good, good, good. Let's just go and play with it a little bit, feeling the different balance as you move your knee and circle the other way. Great. And then bringing it down. Inhale up again, sinking that chi. And then we'll bring it to our tree pose. So bringing the weight to the right leg and bringing the left up. It can be at thigh or cap or big toe on the ground there. That's great too. Hands to heart center, breathe. Opening up hips, opening up shoulders, getting that focus point, that, that drishti, the place to look, keeping your eye Focused. Good, good, good. Inhaling and exhaling as we open up our arms like a tree would. Beautiful. And the tree blesses everyone. And children are fascinated by trees, how beautiful they are. Each and every leaf. Good. And they bless all the beings that come under them. Two more breaths here. Good. And then we'll bring it down. Beautiful, beautiful. Great. And coming over to the other side, shifting the weight, feeling it on that left foot as we bring the right up. Beautiful. Inhaling and exhale, feeling the abundance of a tree as we bless our own children, our own child heart, and children everywhere. Sending them that love and whatever it is that they need right now, just blessing, blessing with compassion and loving kindness. One more breath here. And then bringing it back to heart center. Beautiful. Hold, bring the leg down, rolling one shoulder back, and roll the other. Beautiful. Getting ready for a dancer pose as we plant our right leg and bring the left up into dancer. So reach through. And don't forget your focal point as we come to this pose, breathing. This can also be done holding on to a balanced buddy chair, or you could put the, the knee that's, that's being held up onto the seat of a couch and get it stretched that way. Breathe, 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 and hold. 
two breaths here. Good, and then bringing it down. Little tick tock in between here. Tick tock, side to side. Good, feeling that nice side stretch. Then raining the fingers down, shifting the weight onto the left foot as the right comes up into dancer. And breathe into dancer. Reaching, breathing. Blessing children. Remembering to keep that intention. Good, the empty emptiness, allowing love to flow through. One more breath here. Beautiful, bringing it down. Great, we'll inhale up. Exhale, sinking that chi. And as we do, we feel the right foot grounding into the earth as the left comes back into a warrior three with airplane arms reach. Fly and then bring both arms around into a traditional warrior three. Hold, breathe. One more breath here. And then bringing it back to center. We'll let the left foot ground down as the right comes back. Flying, breathing. And then bringing it around, holding, flying, breathing. One more breath. Beautiful. Coming back down. Good. Let's inhale up and exhale again, dropping that chi down, down, down through our bodies. Good. We're going to go down on all fours. Into the mat with our hands right under our shoulders and our knees right under our hip bones. And we'll exhale into angry cat and then inhale into cow, tucking our tailbone and bringing our head up. Exhale, arching the back, tucking the chin and the tailbone. And then exhale, bringing that tailbone and chin up and dropping the belly. And exhale into angry cat, Inhale into cow, dropping the belly. Exhale, angry cat. And inhale, cow. Beautiful. One more time. Good, good, good. And from here, I want you to bring your right leg up into what's kind of a runner's lunge again, but then bring it up to a lower lunge and really feel that nice stretch coming through in your hip flexor and in your hip. Good, good, good. And then as you do that, bring your right hand down and reach up with your left and do a twist. Good. And we've got one connection to heaven and one to earth. And we are the conduit in between bringing that love and blessing to all the beings and children everywhere, just blessing, blessing them. As we bring ourselves to a place of trust and praise, good, allowing that blessing to flow through us to these children. Good, good, good. One more breath here. And then come up again to that lower lunge, hold, Good, and then bringing the left leg back and then the right leg forward, again into a lower lunge, feeling the stretch in the hip flexor. Good, breathing. And then bring that left hand down, right hand goes up again into a twist. And again, one hands towards heaven, one's on the earth bringing that loving kindness and blessing to the children of the earth or maybe your own special children and on the way it blesses your own child heart beautiful hold breathe feel the twist one more breath here make it like a prayer good and then bring both hands down and we're going to come to a child's pose 
So the knees are nice and wide today, a wide, wide knee child's pose, and the toes are together, big toes are together, and they come down to a wide knees child's pose, reaching the arms up. Now you can bring your forehead onto the mat and really stretch, breathing, breathing, breathing. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the groin area, but it's a relaxed stretch. Just letting gravity do it. And again, humbling ourselves like a weaned child, quieting our soul here in this child's pose. Allowing that blessing to flow into us and through us. Maybe again to a special child that, that you'd like to bless. Two more breath, breath, breaths here. One more. Good, good, good. And then we're going to come around to seated with our legs out in front of us. Great. And then give our legs a nice little rub. Beautiful, beautiful. And then bring your right knee up. Hug that right knee. Hold, hold, hold. Good. And then I want you to pop it over. The foot comes over the left knee. You grab it with your left hand. Inhale up and come into a twist. Good. Inhaling tall, exhale twisting. Inhale, extending your spine, exhale twist. Beautiful. Inhale and exhale. And it says in Malachi that God blesses the little children. And it says that everyone is, is his own treasured possession. There's a force greater than us that blesses all children and that sees us and the children as treasured possessions. And let's be one with that. Let's be one with that. Just as we inhale and exhale. The treasured possession. And then come back to center. Going to switch legs. Bring the opposite leg up. Give it a hug, hug, hug. Get that nice bend in your knee. It's really good for them. And then pop it over the other one. Grab it. And come around at the twist. Inhaling tall. Exhale, opening up that shoulder. Inhale, extending the spine. Exhale, opening up heart center. We do two more breaths here as we send out that blessing. Beautiful, beautiful. And then coming back to center, we will plant our feet, bring our hands right behind our knees and hold, tuck that tailbone, activate glutes, use that abdominis and bring that pelvic floor up as we begin to bring one leg up and the other. If you have any lower back issues or abdominis issues like hernias, this wouldn't be for you and we will meet you down on the mat. Good, good, good. And maybe both legs up and hold, bracing core. And if it feels good, you can bring the arms around and hold, inhaling and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Kind of playing with this boat pose, just like we're a little child. Just playing with it. Maybe bringing one leg up or one arm. Woo! Okay, a little bit of play here. All right, and then we're gonna melt down on the mat and hold onto those knees, tuck them close. Feel that nice little, little ball that you've rolled yourself into and then come down and give yourself a back massage around and around with the knees one way, good. 
and then around and around with the knees the other way. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's switch directions one more time. And the other direction, good. And then reach through, get your ankles and clap your feet. We're still in play here. Good. Our hearts are lightened. Good, good, good. We can trust. We can be like a weaned child with a quieted soul as our elbows push out our inner thighs and our feet are in namaste. That means the soles are together. Good. And breathe. And then open up to happy baby. Opening up, rocking side to side. Good, maybe holding on to our toes, just like a happy baby would. Yep, just blessing the refugee children, the children that are starting out at school, the children who are starting out at college, their children too. Blessing, 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 sending out those blessings. Good, good, good. The love and the peace and the care and the trust and the praise. Good. As we play here in Happy Baby, then we'll drop our arms down onto the mat and go in and out with your feet, just like you're an upside down ballerina or something. So a little more play here. Good. And then bend your knees in the middle, reach them out to one side. Bend and reach. And of course, here we can activate our glutes, contract our abdominus muscles, lift that pelvic floor, get a little bit of core work, back and forth, back and forth, beautiful. And then drop the feet right by the hips and the hands will come by the sides of the hips as we inhale, exhale, tuck in that tailbone and coming up to bridge. Inhale down. Exhaling up to bridge. Inhaling down. Exhale up. Beautiful. Inhaling down. Exhale up to bridge. Two more like this. Or you can hold and bridge. That's great too. And one more. Good, good, good. Melting down. Cross right foot over left knee. And then bring that left knee up and bring your arms around the thigh or your hands around the thigh. Good. Then your right elbow pushes on the right inside of the thigh there and we'll circle feet around, circle them the other way. If this feels great and you'd like to activate your glutes and work the abdominus a little more, bring the shoulders up and hold in a bit of a crunch. Good, good, good. Don't forget pelvic floor, lift it, lift that pelvic floor. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Two more breaths here. And one more. And then as we melt down, we'll open up our arms, keep your leg crossed and drop the right foot to the left. Get a lovely stretch in the hip here. Really, really great for making sure that the fascia is taken care of on that right side as we breathe into it. Two more breaths here. One more. Noticing the breath, noticing presence. Come back to center, recross the foot on the knee. Good, circling the ankle, bringing our fingers around and lacing them around that opposite thigh and circling around the ankles one way, circling the other way, maybe bracing core coming up again. As we circle and circle and circle, good. Round and around and around. Really activate the glutes, the abdominis, lift that pelvic floor. One more breath here. And melting down, opening up arms, dropping it over to the side, and melt into the mat. Melting, melting, melting. Good, 
the last breath here. Good, and now we're gonna to come to a full body stretch. Just come back to center, reaching overhead, reaching our feet to the bottom of the mat. Extend, extend, extend into full body stretch. And maybe your nose or your toes are coming back towards your nose. So the feet are dorsiflexed as you reach. Walk both hands and both feet over to the left side of the mat and get a nice stretch on the right side as you bring the right shoulder and the right hip down, breathing into the fascia on that side. That's the connective tissue, like a beautiful net on that side of the body, and then walk it over to the other side and feel that nice extension, breathing, breathing, breathing. Two breaths here. And one more. And then let's come back to center, dropping our hands on either side of our hips, tucking our shoulder blades under, allowing our feet to open as we melt into the mat. Just letting all of this practice melt into the cloth, into the mat allowing all of the worries and cares of the day to again, remain here on the mat. And opening up our hearts to a heart of praise and trust. And then allowing that blessing to flow through us with open palms. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained praise because of thy enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy, enemies. And those enemies are mistrust, being unthankful and worried. Those are the enemies. We're letting those go. We're filling up with that blessing and then letting it flow through us to all the children. Blessing all these children. As it blesses our own child heart, our own children and grandchildren. And then all the children of the world. 